Crude oil is first heated at various temperatures in an atmospheric distillation unit to separate it into different fractions. In simpler refineries, the resulting components are further processed to remove impurities such as sulfur and modify their physical or chemical properties to make them suitable for incorporation into final products. Then the blending comes in, mixing in different components and additives to prepare the finished products that are familiar to us all, such as LPG, gasoline, diesel and jet fuel. The finished products are stored in large tank farms ready to be transported to the end users via a combination of pipelines, rail, road and waterways. However, modern refineries can do much more. ExxonMobil is taking the next step to modernize their refineries at home starting with our Chalmette refinery in Louisiana. The EPA reported that, in 2010, 150 refineries in 32 U.S. states produced 20,000 tons of hazardous air pollutants into local communities. This fact is a cause for alarm. To help ExxonMobil in our initiative to modernize, we have a goal to improve U.S. refinery standards to the much higher EU standards thus decreasing the negative environmental impact caused by oil refineries as well as the oil products we provide to communities across the United States. Our research and development team is proposing that ExxonMobil pursue an oil refinery upgrade in Shelmet. The expected outcome of the Flesh Tower project will be 25% energy efficiency of our refinery and the production of environmentally friendly, higher grade oil. How through fluid catalytic cracking, the conversion process used to convert high boiling, high molecular weight hydrocarbon fractions of petroleum crude oil. We will produce more valuable gas, gas gasoline, olefinic gases and other products. The initial outlay for ExxonMobil is $229 million and the additional revenue for ExxonMobil is $733 million. We computed the additional revenue by multiplying the amount of barrels of oil per day by the oil prices that are the current oil prices in the market. This amounted to a total of $2 million and then this number is per day so we multiplied it by 330, 365 days in a year to total $733 million. The expenses for the project is totals $100 million from maintaining equipment and advertising expense. This creates a net cash flow of $633 million. We have decided to finance this project through debt because ExxonMobil is a AAA rated company and currently the stock is undervalued. The stock is undervalued because through technical analysis, the company has a relative strength, strength index of 30, signaling the company is undervalued. Also, it has a stylistic oscillator near 30, also signaling the stock is undervalued. Thus, since the company's stock is undervalued, then we should use debt. The cost of capital for the project is affected by the following GESP factors. The company faces low political risk because we are creating the project in America. The economy for the US is has a strong outlook and is increasing their GDP at a consistent rate of 2.2%. Unemployment rate is also decreasing and inflation rate is at a consistent 2% per year. The social risks that are affected the project are that consumers are continuing to demand for more oil. Thus, ExxonMobil needs to create more oil to fill the consumer's demands. Based off these risk factors, we have determined a 6% cost of capital for ExxonMobil's project because their WAC is about 6% and the project's risk is similar to the risk of the country based in America. The NPV for the project is approximately $300 million. Thus, ExxonMobil should take on the project because this number is greater than zero. Also, the IRR for the project is about 30%. This rate is in line with the expected return on an oil and gas project. Therefore, ExxonMobil should take on the project.
Through all of our research and development, we have created this project to ultimately help improve the efficiency of refining. With the help of BP, we will be able to take this project and improve the standards of refineries by implementing through refineries around the United States. By the end of our 10-year plan, we predict that hundreds of refineries in the United States will adapt by using the newly upgraded plan. Our project will change the future of how oil is refined so that the environment will remain clean and that we can live a long and happy life.